We will talk about enlarged lymph nodes, especially when they are painful and when they are presented in several places same time. For example, in neck region, in armpits, and in the groin. When we have this presentation that enlarged and tender or painful lymph nodes, first we think about infectious mononucleosis, especially if patient is younger. Infectious mononucleosis is viral infection. It is caused by Epstein-Barr virus. It starts with severe sore throat for two weeks. It lasts around two weeks. Also, fever is presented around also two weeks and lymph nodes are tender and enlarged. Sometimes lymph, no lymph nodes are painless, but they still enlarge, especially in neck region. Uh, diagnosis is made, made by antibody test, so it needs requires blood tests, monospot test and um, VCA uh, IgM and VCA IgG antibodies are measured and we can make diagnosis. Treatment usually is supportive, so we have no specific treatment of infectious mononucleosis. Second most common cause is infectious. Viral infectious and bacterial infectious can cause uh, enlarged lymph nodes, especially if these infections are, are not localized and they are systemic, for example, HIV, syphilis, and tuberculosis, they can cause enlarged lymph nodes in several places at the same time, such as neck and um, armpit and groin. So infections are also second most common cause. Of course, we did not mention Common cold and flu and other respiratory tract infections can cause enlargement of neck lymph nodes, but we don't mention it because we're talking about systemic enlargement when we have uh, lymph node enlargement in many places together. That's, that's why we mentioning tuberculosis and syphilis and HIV. So bacterial and viral infections also causes enlargement of lymph nodes. Third most common cause is autoimmune disease. Lupus is autoimmune disease which damages joints and skin and different organs and it can cause enlargement of lymph nodes. Also it can cause low platelet, uh, low leukocyte count and uh, uh, there is characteristic appearance of a lupus person. Of course, this skin presentation, butterfly presentation, is not always presented, but it's characteristic if it's presented. It is called a butterfly rash, um, and it's sign of lupus. Also, another uh, common disease which can cause enlargement of lymph nodes is rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis affects around 1% of population. It means it's quite common condition. And at this case, uh, there's symmetrical damage, symmetrical pain of hands and feet and different types of uh, joint. And we have joint pain and we can have also enlargement of um, lymph nodes in the body. Allergies are fourth most common cause, especially respiratory allergens can cause enlargement of neck lymph nodes and other lymph nodes also, it's possible also. And we should mention also about lymphoma. Lymphoma is malignancy, which can cause enlargement lymph nodes and lymphoma uh, also uh, cause swollen lymph nodes in neck, groin and armpits and we should uh, exclude it uh, in almost any case. If we have no very clear picture what is the underlying cause of enlargement of lymph nodes, uh, 
it's better if we first exclude lymphoma. Lymphoma causes usually painless enlargement of these lymph nodes and biopsy is required. Biopsy are made one of these enlarged lymph nodes to define if it's lymphoma or not. Usually lymphoma uh, lymph nodes are not painful, are not tender, but temporary tenderness can happen after alcohol intake, uh, during concurrent infections or rapid growth. At these cases there can be there can be painful lymph nodes. Also we can mention about leukemia. Leukemia is another malignancy of white blood cells, but for leukemia enlarged lymph nodes are not characteristic. Secondary it, it's possible if person has uh, infection and a low uh, leukocyte level and mm, uh, poor immune system it's possible that we can have enlarged lymph nodes but for leukemia it's not characteristic but for lymphoma such type of enlarged and swollen lymph nodes are characteristic that's why we should exclude lymphoma first it's important that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now